In the last episode, we started our journey from Serbia to Bulgaria, we adopted a puppy, and we got our first impressions on our 50cc bikes. In this episode, the Yugo gets broken into and the keys stolen. Somebody for sure was sitting in the Yugo. These are so Why we're gonna have to. Why did they have to take the keys? They made me this Kyla. Because we experienced some complications on the road. Petar got maybe three kilometers before he uh, dumped it. So he crashed, he fell there, and uh... And experienced crazy scenery. Petar splashing me. <laughs> the things you find in uh, Eastern Serbia. All of that and more. On with the episode, remember to subscribe. Some kids have taken interest in the puppy. We cleaned it and bathed it and got some of the bugs off. It still uh, needs a little more love from the fleas, but it's warm, it's fed, and it's clean-ish. Ništa, momci, mi idemo sada da ostavimo onda stvari u kola i da uradimo bravo za auto. A vi se raspitajte za sav. Look at this, parked right across from ours is a beautiful Tomos. It's in better shape than ours. <laughs> is it yours? He doesn't. <laughs> but uh, these things are, are still on the road here in Serbia. So yesterday, maybe, maybe, just maybe, I left the keys in the trunk, maybe. Yeah. While I was taking the dog out, maybe, maybe I lost it. Maybe, maybe. But the interesting thing is that uh, somebody for sure was sitting in the Yugo because both of the sun visors were down and I found his house keys uh, on the back of the Yugo, so on the floor. Whoever had fun, no problem, but nothing's missing. Helmets are there, which is cool. But the only problem is, I don't know where the Yugo keys are, so Why we're gonna have to... Why did they have to take the keys? Maybe I, le maybe I lost it, who knows. You know, we were supposed to bring the Yugo as insurance for the mopeds. Okay, let's get the and lockout and we make a new keys. <laughs> I don't know if we have the means to get this steering wheel off. So long story short, we have no key because somebody stole it or Petar lost it. One of the two. And we are gonna see if we can get the tumbler out so we can take it to a locksmith so he makes us a new key. We don't have the tools we need. Uh, most of the tools are in our other Yugo, the Yugo Florida, um, when we were sort of redoing that vehicle. Well, hopefully this guy is able to help us. He has the tools we need, but uh, this is really, really inconvenient. So for those of you that don't know, I've made a video on TikTok and Instagram almost every day for about three years now. Uh, sometimes multiple videos a day. And I'm so fascinated to be making YouTube videos for the first time. You guys really need to give me feedback on this stuff because it's new to me. My TikTok videos are usually pretty highly produced, lots of effort, usually, you know, a 60 second video can have up to 30 cuts, you know? But something like this is more long form, more organic, um, and you get to see stuff like us losing our freaking keys and having to tear our car apart. That would never end up in a TikTok video, um, not really, um, because I can be so picky, so... It's crazy. And of course, you know, I've got a camera guy here with a 500 euro lens and a 1200 euro camera and all the expensive microphone, a gimbal, all that stuff. Everything I've ever done in my video career has been done on my phone. So now we're using all of this fancy equipment. We're still living very not fancy lives, <laughs> but it is all being recorded in 4K for your viewing pleasure. I remember back in the day, when you bought a new SIM card, they would always come with that little metal doodad to put in here. And now, of course, they don't. Shrinkflation or something. So what I always use is the staple that comes in the instruction booklet. That usually can be bent into a tool. Here's my little tool built from a staple. Boom. And it's that easy. 
Normally you need a special tool to remove a steering wheel, they don't come out. But I know a trick. Like that. <laughs> you just hit it. Okay. Give him a handle, man. What? A handle? <laughs> we got a guy who just brought us a whole new tumbler, so... Thanks, man. <laughs> this is the car to drive in Serbia. There's parts everywhere. Everybody knows somebody who has something. Hi. 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 How are you? Good, how are you? Great. Nice to meet you. Hey, by the way, we have uh, a big doors. fair happening. No, 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 no. It's fine, we can go on a fair. Like a local fair. While they uh, fix our... <laughs> yeah, well, after that, after that. Uh, oh, after that. They made me this Kyla. Because it's 24 and he's gonna get 24. I am soon. gonna be 24. That's true. <laughs> wow! Good, uh, happy birthday hey, from hey. My new, our new friend and me. <laughs> it was uh, four bucks, so you yeah. take care of it. Yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> this is my, my good luck charm. So all of a sudden we've got a whole group of Serbs out here working on the Yugo and he's just wrapping it up now. He put a new lock in for us and we're going to be back on the road. Smederevo is really interesting. It's... You know, they say the souther you get, the sadder you get in the Balkans. And it's funny, it's some in-between zone. The infrastructure is run down and the people don't have that much money, but ultimately, spirits seem high, it's a vibrant place, lots of stuff going on, and just the kindest, friendliest people as we've seen. I mean. I don't see a lot of sadness. I see some broken infrastructure, but not a lot of sadness. We're in front of a salon. I guess they're gonna fix our trunk lock as well. I was offered some delicious krovne while we wait for our lock to be fixed. These guys are legends. No, I just want to tell you if I'm going to say something different. There you go. Mickey Keymaker Smedo. <laughs> they got all the keys you need. <laughs> and they totally saved our butt. For real. Thank you so much. Kuala. <laughs> Wally Mom. Alright, let's hit the road. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Speaking of the devil. Da, da, da. Not too much. I gotta drive. Oh. Yeah, he, I, of course. Jivali. Jivali. <laughs> that was a bit of an overreaction. It actually is. It's really nice. Pretty nice. Tomo Sprints. Dude, they got all the pimped out Tomoses around here. This is a much later model than mine. And it's still, of course, it has no turn signals. Yeah, check that is out there. 16, 17, 25. 25. <laughs> 16, 17, 25. I wonder where the owner is. You gotta love it. Because these things uh, don't have keys to start them, you just chain it to a pole. I can start this thing up right now. 
and then it's running. We're on the side of the road somewhere in Serbia. Uh, I don't know how far we traveled, 20 kilometers or so. Uh, I was on the Tomos, and I'll tell you what, that thing is much different than the Chinese bike. Lots more power on this one. Petar got maybe three kilometers before he uh, dumped it. Come on this side, I'll show you the damage. So he just kind of laid it down, you know. He wasn't going very fast, but he damaged the guard and just the foot peg. Only rubber pieces. I was expecting crashes to be, or, or things like that to be inevitable on this trip, but this early, I guess we got lucky, though. Petar also, I switched him back to the Tomos and he managed to slide out on this one too, but no damage was done. Except for this, this came off. Petar is starting to have second thoughts about driving it. He says he wants to take it to Nice and then he wants to be done. There he is. There you go. So he crashed, he fell there, and uh, he's been there for a while. About 10 minutes. Just laying in the same spot he crashed. Look at the road rash on the jeans. Ah, uh, so yeah, we're off to a really wonderful start within the span of about 15 minutes. Uh, we're gonna see. We've we've got to move with them uh, regardless. We got a little lost. Do we know where we're going now? How are you doing? Awful. How's your ass? My ass is still fine because I wasn't sitting on the bike for too long. So. Well, go ahead. You know, I was originally supposed to ride the Tomos. But Petar's uncomfortable with a bike this big. He doesn't really have any motorcycle experience at all. This thing is much, much faster than the Tomos. Probably twice as fast. Even though the engine is the same size, it's much newer and it's a four stroke. I don't know. It is what it is. I'll convince him to ride this one again later though. He needs to learn. I'm a. I had to stop because I saw something amazing. Petar was in the front on the Chongqing and he just kept going. There's a monastery here carved into the rock. I just saw it as we were driving by. I wanted to stop and take a look. So let's take a look. Look. Monastery Blago Vestenje. I would like to climb up there. We'll see if Petar is down. He seems reluctant. So what we're looking now is, it used to be a monastery, who knows when. And now are just the leftovers. This would be a wonderful place to sit down and have a picnic. <laughs> How do you think we get inside? Do you think it's on the other side? Uh, I don't think we are supposed to go inside. <laughs> it's like, uh, like uh, <laughs> it's hard to get it for the enemies. That is the whole point of the Fortify Monastery. But that's the one of the reasons I want to take you to Manasia Monastery. And Manasia is... Manasia has the walls as high as Medarevo, but there's just a monastery inside. Look at how green it is! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Serbia, my friend. Serbia, huh? Oh. How you feeling? You gonna make it? Yeah. Hello down there. The things you find in uh, Eastern Serbia. <laughs> oh.
Flowers and such. That's, Smells awesome, man. It does smell awesome. And this is where? What are we closest to? So nothing. Closest to <laughs> fifty kilometers south from Požarevac. Požarevac. Fifty k's south. You can already smell the fish, right? I can smell the fish, ah. but not in like a delicious way, yeah, in like a in like a fishy come, way. Come, boys. He's been excited about this all day. But it's full! Like, literally, I can grab one with my hand. Like, literally. Like, oh my gosh, of three, course he's gonna try. Two, I don't one. think you can. Right over there. <laughs> that's where the water comes out. 100 meters from Earth. That's where the river starts. That's it. Man, we, we can come here tomorrow and swim. I feel like we should. Uh, look at that! Look! It's that easy! What did you think of the riding experience? Well, man, it's nice, but uh, if you're close to a construction site, it sucks. He dumped both bikes, actually. Yeah. First, the Ching Chong. Ching Chong, and then the and Thomas. And then the Tomos. But both Within was, uh, about 10 minutes of one But yeah, it was a gravel, man. Bo on both scenes it was gravel and yeah. sand. And, and, uh, and I need new jeans. I don't have another jeans, man. My experience riding the Tomos is so specific to the terrain. If you go from sitting up straight to down, you go faster, for sure. Ooh, absolutely. Man. I was kicking my feet on the ground to go faster. Up a hill, I think the slowest I was going was probably 10 kilometers an hour. Maybe <laughs> even less. <laughs> like somebody could have ran past me, I was going so slow. I'm uh, like a skateboard kicking my feet on the ground trying to go faster. That was interesting. But the challenge that comes with it, the man versus machine, is very interesting. <laughs> and tonight, as a reward, we're going to enjoy our Riblia Chorba. Can you say that properly with a proper accent? Riblia Chorba. Yeah, just like that. A fish soup. Um. And, uh,. Is this cru? No, the lepinja. Ah, uh, lepinja. Cru is well, Slovenian. No, no. Kruh is bread on Croatian and in Slovenian. Uh. But the, this type of bread we call lepinja. So lepinja is a type of bread, hmm. not bread. Lepinja in the fish soup. I'm excited for the main course. So, this is for the bones. This is trout or pastramka. As fresh as it can possibly get, straight from the source. I don't have a lot of experience eating whole fish like this, like it's with like, the heads attached and everything. It's like 100 meters away. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll show you. Okay. Okay, so you get the fish somewhere in the middle. And you can do this, like you get the, get the skin off, so you can find where the middle of the fish is, right? Okay. Yeah. And there is this middle line, right? So you cut through this middle line, not too hard. Now you get the meat off of it. You see how I'm doing it? I'm like holding the fish and getting the meat off of it, right? Yeah. You see? And see how the, all the bones are left behind. Wait, that's why you use two tools, not two, you know, like literally. You, you hold one and... Uh, 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 right? And now you do that with the bottom, slowly, slowly, yeah? I did it at the video, man. Yeah, like that. You see how it's sliding off the bones? Yeah, it's sliding right off. And now, now, now is the key. Now is the key. Now, you get it underneath the head. Okay. You see how the head goes? Yeah. You hold the rest of the meat with a knife or something, or with your finger, however you prefer. Yeah. And just take this and just peel the rest of the meat off, man. And whoopa! Ta da! Whoa! I have never done this before in my entire life. Hey, I said, do it too. Ha! We devoured that fish. That was. Just amazing. I recommend you come here for sure. Where are we again? 
And now we are in Krupansko Vrelo. The eighth wonder of the ancient world. Today was crazy. We did a lot. Uh, new dog. Uh, who needs to be adopted? If anybody wants to adopt a dog, reach uh, out to me, please. New keys. New keys. Uh, lots of travel. Just, wow. It's everything I hoped it would be, this trip is, so far. Oh, and Petar uh, tore his pants and crashed a couple times, so that was fun, too. Uh, <laughs> now, I'm fine now. After all this food and uh, broken pants and, uh, I don't know, uh, a wound all, on my knee, it's absolutely it's all worth, worth it. Worth it yeah. We'll have to take a look at your knee. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're back on the road again, and we're going to see what we see next. We're going to go to the monastery, we're going to hang out here a little bit. We're going to stay right here, right off the river with the trout. They have really affordable accommodations. So tomorrow morning we're going swimming. Subscribe to this page and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. And breakfast included. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>